Hi everyone and welcome to another part of my Sims 4 Get to Work Let's Play. Um, we are kind of uh, <laughs> having a bit of a meltdown in the house at the moment. So Reese is fixing the toilet and then the sink broke so he's going to repair that as well. He's just acquired his first handiness skill. Um, I think it's going to be a cheaper option than keep hiring repair services so we'll give him a go. Um, Lydia is having something to eat and watching TV and Rebecca has just cornered Marcus. And Hudson's around, but we're not really talking to him. So she's invited him to hang out, and he said, yeah, I'll hang out for a bit. So we're going to head back to the house, though. Um, And then we will, maybe we'll watch a movie together. So watch a movie with, uh, oh gosh, let's watch, <laughs> let's watch Diamonds Are for Sims with something or other. Like, I don't think Moonlight Massacre is really gonna be a very in the mood sort of film. So... Oh, Lydia, you need to pay the bills. And then she's gonna... I think she's hacking something. Oh, she must have already done that. So these two are going to watch a film, but Lydia's kind of awkwardly um, in the middle of it. Lydia, get the hint, girl! Let's see what's going on in this film. I think it's like a James Bond-esque thing, judging by the title. Yay, Lydia left! Thank you very much. Yeah, they're going to sit together, so that's cute. And we're going to flatter him. And let's discuss interests. Gossip. No, Gustavo, we're not going to do that. We have got to get Marcus in the bag. We're going to get to know him a bit more. Tell him a funny story. Reese is repairing like mad and then he can mop the floor. I think we need to turn this off because we got a movie on. I think she would be confident enough to make a move. Let's see how he takes it. This is make it or break it really for this couple. She's telling a funny story, she's gonna make him laugh and then she's gonna go in for the kill. <laughs> well, he makes her laugh. That's a good sign. <coughs> Ooh. He seems to like it. Let's see what he does. Sleep? No, we're not gonna sleep. Let's do. Let's let them kiss then. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Ah. Is he leaving? If he leaves, I'm gonna be so annoyed. No, he's going to go and work out. Like God, man. How many chances have you had with this girl? Why don't we go out here? Oh no, he's not. He's going to make a drink. That's okay. I thought he was gonna work out again. Um, let's talk about the film. We're gonna complain about the actor. Gonna blow him a little kiss, and then we'll have a little flirtation. I feel like these two need to get it together and um, kind of like get all this pent up uh, desire for each other out. <laughs> Compliment appearance. Um, I need her to get feeling flirty. Yes, here we go. Right, let's do a sexy pose and hope he doesn't walk away this time. 
He's like, yeah, I, I like it. Let's invite him to stay the night. We'll have a little flirt with him. And we'll blow him a kiss. I love the way they call it a sleepover. It's so cute. Like, that's not what she's got in mind. We're going to whisper seductively and we'll kiss him again. I feel like I've totally abandoned the other Sims. So, Lydia is hacking and, oh, Reese, don't be asleep. That's boring. We're going to wake you up and you're going to invite over um, Luna. Or we could let's start let's let's carry on with Jade for a minute actually. So or should we or should we invite over Luna? Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna invite her to come and hang out. Like, hey we got we got a friend over, I don't know if you wanted to join us. No, we're not going to ask him to be a boyfriend. We're not interested in that. We just want a night of fun with him. Um, let's see if they can seal the deal now. We're going to woohoo with Marcus. So, Reese, where's your date? I don't know if he asked her because it doesn't seem to have the reply. Oh, he's going to do it now. Okay, cool. So, Lydia, um, I think you should probably take a shower and then you can go to bed. She Maybe she could program for a little bit longer. Luna will be right over. Nice. And here is the newly, um, the newly young adult affide, if that is not a word, but you know what I mean. I've made her up to a young adult and she looks so cool. So we're going to have a little gossip with her. We're going to brighten her day and see like, oh, have you got over your illness yet? She's like, yeah, yeah, it was, wasn't too bad. Why can't these two... Do it. <laughs> What's the problem? Can he not get in the bedroom? Who with Marcus? Well, he came over. Oh, she might have a break for in the shower. Why are they going over there? Nope, they can't get in there. We're going to have to rethink this. We have to extend this room out, I think. Do the same for the girls' room. Don't know if we can afford this at all. Not really. Actually, we won't do the same for the girls' room. Theirs is fine. And then we will move the bed to the middle. Awesome. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> yes, they can do it now. Oh, that I didn't mean it like that. They can reach the bed now. Why don't you watch a movie with your... I want to find something that's romantic. Oh, we'll go with Simbador. I've no idea what it is. So, Rebecca and um, Marcus finally got their acts together and have sealed the deal. Now, I don't know whether they're going to continue seeing each other or, like, they've got that out of their systems. So, they're kind of like, yeah. That's done now. <laughs> I 
I think he's going to leave. I bet he leaves. Let's see how it was for her. Oh, that was her first woohoo, but it, nah, it wasn't. Oh, she thought it was a boring mo movie. <laughs> Marcus, you better get out of Reese's bed at some point because he needs to go to bed. Oh, she's crying over the film. That's so cute. Oh, it's some sort of horror film. We get a compliment of appearance. Um, let's find out what she does for a living. I don't think she will be employed because she was a teenager and I neglected to get her a job. Aww. Yep, Luna is unemployed. Brighten her day a little bit and we give her a pickup line. See how she responds to that. Oh my god, it's totally um ghost, isn't it? Aww. What a cute film. Oh, it's definitely ghost, Patrick Swayze. Oh she he's feeling flirty, she's feeling very flirty. Cute. I don't think we should tell her a dirty joke. I don't think she'd like that. Let's do a sexy pose. <laughs> See what Reese's sexy pose is. Oh, she liked the little exchange number. Look at him giving her a side eye like, oh, did she like it? Other the way, he's still eating his salad as he does this. So he has Luna, possibly Jade. Yes, Jade. He liked Eva. Uh, we got Clara from his group. He could go for Jennifer's quite nice looking. Katrina. Yes, he's got quite a lot of female. Um, gosh, he's got nine days to the ages up. That's gone fast. Um, yeah, he's got a lot of female acquaintances, but um, who knows which one he will take his fancy? She's playing a game. Oh, she's very flirtatious. Let's blow her a kiss. I think we'll get these two to go on a little date before anything serious happens, and um, we'll see how they get on. He definitely is just playing it cool at the moment. He's not really interested in a long-term relationship. He's had a little heartbreak, so he just wants a bit of fun. Marcus, you need to get out of his bed. He wants to go to sleep soon. We're going to give her a little kiss and then say goodbye, I think. We'll hold her hands and we'll offer her rose. He's very gentlemanly. I get that vibe from Reese. I don't think he would just hook up with girls left, right and centre. I think he's very sweet. And he'll take them out for a nice dinner. Um, I think we should try and say goodbye. How do we do that? Goodbye. Thanks for coming. Oh, he's feeling very flirty. I really should get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. Right, Marcus, you need to get out of our bed. Wake up. <laughs> he's like, dude, my bed. Get out. <laughs> oh, look at him feeling so confident. And just help yourself to our food, why don't you, Marcus? <laughs> okay, I'm going to fast forward until somebody wakes up, and I'll join you back in a moment. Okay, so the girls are awake. Reese has got to go work in an hour, but he's only tired, so I'm going to leave him in bed. Um, the girls are going to have some breakfast and some tea. 
And, yeah, um, <laughs> Marcus slept on the couch. Bless him. I'm surprised he didn't actually just go home. But I suppose we did invite him to stay the night. We're going to get Reese actually to grab a drink before he goes to work. Where's her bowl empty? That's weird. Oh, because I told you to do it afterwards. Oh, I see. Everyone's having a cup of tea together. In the morning, discussing the night before. Rebecca's like, oh, I drank too much. I definitely shouldn't have uh, hooked up with Marcus. So we're going to... Um, We've done a shift with Reese and we've done a shift with um, Lydia. So I think we will go with Rebecca to work next. So we're going to send him alone. Uh, yeah, yeah he, they really don't like the tea. Bless him. Oh, it is minging. We'll get her to clean it after she's had her breakfast. Marcus, get the hint. Like, dude. You should have left by now. We're going to let him go to work didn't quite go focused because he didn't finish his tea, but never mind. Mm -hmm. A nice cup of tea listening to the radio, what a nice morning. Even though the guy from the night before is still hanging around. <laughs> And he's fixing himself an alcoholic beverage at this time of the morning. That's kind of gross, Marcus. You're putting Rebecca off, <laughs> wanting anything more than just casual hookup in the future. Who's this? Oh, it's um, Mrs. Childress. What's her first name? Jennifer, that's it. Oh, she's having a little chat with him anyway. Lady is feeling focused, ready for work, so that's good. Has she actually got to go to work today? Yeah, she's got three hours though, so we'll get her to do some more programming. She's making a plug-in. can't believe he's just like carrying... <laughs> uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, he's just fixed himself a alcoholic drink. Maybe he's not finished partying from last night. Rebecca's like, ew, that's a bit gross. So, does she have to go to work today? I don't think she does. Yeah, she's got to go to work tomorrow. So we're going to go with her to work tomorrow. And I think we are going to bake. We're going to have a go at making some pre-mixed brownies. And let's hope she doesn't burn the house down. Because I really want her to get a high level in a baking skill. And then when we've completed the detective career, um, we're going to go into the business side of this expansion pack and she's going to open her own little bakery which I think will be totally awesome and I'm really looking forward to that but it might be a long while off because she's got to get to the top of her detective career and currently she is a level 2 um, but she's doing okay Lydia is a level 2 possibly going on to level 3 and Reese is a level 2 as well so they're doing alright She acquired the baking skill. Please don't burn the house down. Oh, Marcus finally got the hint and left. <laughs> Bye, Marcus. Thanks for staying over and not leaving until quarter past nine. So this is our first attempt at baking. She's managed to burn the house down making, I think it was scrambled eggs or something. She's made some fruit salad and she made some garden salad. This is another attempt at using the oven. Bless her. She has a dream and she's trying to follow it, so we can't knock her for trying. Let's switch this to... We'll go to some pop music. See how brownies turn out? 
Oh, she didn't burn anything, so that's a good start. Um, they are normal quality. I think that's pretty good. Uh, Lydia, we're going to send you alone. So we just have Rebecca today and I think we might have a little gathering of our work crew. Um, but we'll do that a bit later on because it's only 10. So I think maybe she will... What can she... I think maybe we'll try and get her to join the upper crusts because she's interested in cooking, even though she's terrible. But I think we should try and get her to join them if they exist here. Yes. Uh, we're not really stuck up. We enjoy sharing the better things in life as long as it's food related. Yeah, we're going to ask to join the upper crusts. Welcome to Upper Crust. I'm happy that you have decided to join our club. We're having a club gathering with love for you to introduce yourself to the group. Yes, I'll be right there. I'm not really sure how I feel about Upper Crust. Do you think that people like where it's headed? Ooh. I feel like that's a trick question since we're a new member. We should be like, no, it's amazing. It's brilliant. I'm the leader of Upper Crust. I think it's great. Aw. Definitely was a trick question because she says she thinks it's great. Um, let's give her a pep talk because she is active, I think. Well, she's in the um, powerhouse, so she should be. Discuss some interests. Ask about her career. Eva's trying really hard. Eva, I always call her Eva because she reminds me of Eva from my Bank of Mama Dad challenge. Rebecca's trying really, really hard now. She's like, I really need to impress you. Aww. Oh my god, could the conversation get any more like, whoa, dude, yes. <laughs> so we're going to cook. Um, We could attempt to make a chocolate cake. I feel that is a good idea. We really need to get all our impress. And for, for, um... For uh, Rebecca, making the chocolate cake is a big deal. <laughs> They're probably like, oh, that's really simple. But well done for trying. Let's have a look around this house then. So, ooh, this bedroom's huge. They have a p grand piano in their bedroom. Then we've got a little girl's room. Really cute, lovely green bathroom. Really, I mean, the whole house is actually enormous. Like, there's so much space. Like, living room's enormous. The kitchen's enormous. Oh my god, look at all this space up here. Look, this is a bedroom. It is just epic. Wow. One day, Rebecca will be able to afford a house like this. She's like, we will have it more stylish than this. Um. So we got some breakfast scramble here. Or oh, I wish we could put it in our inventory. That would be good. Come on, Rebecca. We need to really, really um, impress them. Knock their socks off with this chocolate cake. It's got to be the best chocolate cake you've ever made in your life. It is for the first and probably only chocolate cake she's made in her life. What's wrong with you? Oh. Let's discuss interests. We'll get to know her. She doesn't like us cooking our chocolate cake. Why? Sorry, didn't mean to be rude. Oh, she's a perfectionist. She's a bit high maintenance, isn't she? I'm glad Reese is not too interested in her. Looks like we're leaving our uh, cake in the oven then, because she doesn't want us to do it. Oh, she started making a white cake anyway. Hmm. You know what, Rebecca's just going to be like, screw you. I'm trying to impress you. 
Maybe we shouldn't. I don't want to get kicked out for making a cake. <laughs> Breakfast scramble. We don't. We're not really hungry, so we don't really want to eat that. Discuss feelings about upper crust. Well, we're going to say like we like it and we would love to be in the group, but you're a bit rude as a host, <laughs> to be honest. You're a little bit rude. I'm not really sure how I feel. Oh, she's basically said the same thing. I feel like she's like, mm, I think I'm going to leave. Like, thanks for letting me uh, attend your intro. But uh, unless things pick up, I'm probably going to leave. <laughs> so let's get her to... Um, I think we're going to go head to... Mm, No, nah, we're not going to take the group. Let's see who she friends with. We could have a works gathering. Yeah, I think it's late enough in the day now to head to the rattlesnake bar. <laughs> Yeah, it's one thirty in the afternoon. It's totally acceptable to be drinking at a bar. I feel like the upper crusts, they're going to be hard work. and But what I'd really love is for Rebecca to get really, really good at her skill and then just overthrow Clara and be like, yeah, you told me I could make a cake in your house. Oh, and surprise, surprise, look who's here, Marcus. Yeah, I feel like she should overthrow um, Clara as leader of the upper crusts and have a little baking group. That'd be so cute. Um, So... Well, maybe we're not going to talk to Marcus too much because we are on a group outing. So who arrived? We have our lovely Lloyd in his girly jeans. We have Genesis, um, Eric, and we have Yusuf. So we don't know Eric or Yusuf very well, so I feel like we should talk to them. Let's get some drinks in first, though. So we're going to order drink for the group. Let's go with a root beer float. I think these guys want a proper beer. Who's our bartender this week? Not Mateo, sadly. It's Hayley Atkins. Okay. She's like, she's like, drinks for everyone! <laughs> Genesis, like, I think, feel like she's not really our favourite person right now because we kind of went on a date with her husband. But we will try. So let's have a little chat with Eric. And some of you might re remember, if you watched my 100 baby challenge, that we had, um, he was like one of the f very early baby dads. He was like the fourth or fifth child's baby. Daddy. So, I remember him being quite difficult work. So, I don't think he's a romantic interest for um, Rebecca. We just want to be friends with everyone in our group. My God, Marcus couldn't have run over any quicker. He was like, she's talking to a guy. I'm over at the bar. I'm going to be keeping an eye on her. Look, he's like, oh, I'm just admiring the surroundings. Yep, just looking at the artwork. Just seeing what's going on. Not checking out Rebecca and this guy at all. Oh, there you go. Side eye. He's so see-through. Look at him. Talk about the force. We're going to flatter him. We'll discuss some work. How's your cases going? Got any interesting cases going on? Bright and day. A little chat with all our co-workers. Oh, Eric, go to the toilet if you're that desperate, man. Discuss dance that He's like, hey, you a good dancer? Now, Genesis, let's talk about this outfit. Let's talk about it. We have... Yep, I'm liking the heels. Bright pink heels with a little gold trim. I'm liking, I'm liking. Jeans, yep. Okay, maybe not with those heels, but yeah, the jeans are good. And the jeans and the jacket and the scar combo, liking it, liking it, liking it. The hat, not feeling so much. Yeah, I think change the heels, change the hat, and you've got a good little outfit going on there, but I think it's just a little bit confused. Bless her for trying, though. The others are still at work. Oh, he's feeling very uncomfortable. I think that's because he needs to pee. <laughs> Let's tell a funny story. Oh, Reese is home. 
How's he feeling? Oh, he's really tired, bless him. So, we're going to get him to care for himself. Maybe he can join us later. So, a little gossip about our co workers, even though they are in the room. Marcus is coming over, like, hey, hey, Rebecca, remember me? Remember me? Check me out. Oh. Huh. Hello, gossip. <laughs> oh, we can set an inspired vibe. That's good. Let's see how many points we've got. Oh, we've only got 168. That's not very good. <laughs> Rebecca King is doing a great job with the force. I hope they stick around for a long time. Aw, thank you. He's only in our club, so that's good. We're going to order some food. Let's get fish and chips. Oh, it's happy hour. Oh, Rebecca can't seem to get out of her seat. Oh dear, let's delete it and help. See if that helps? Yes, okay, cool. So we're going to order some food. Um, Yeah, we're going to order some fish and chips. And who's this? Are you a co-worker of ours? I don't think he is. I'm not sure, actually. We'll give him a cheerful introduction. Oh, he's feeling flirty. Oh, start off strong, Rodolfo. Um, let's ask about his career because I'm not sure. Oh, he, nope, he is a barista. It's no offense, Rodolfo, but I feel like we should talk to our um, co-workers. Since this is a um, works out in, so to speak. Oh, he loves our club. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to end this part. It's getting pretty long. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. And I don't really have a plan for the next part. I think we'll go with somebody to work. Um, yeah, we're going to go with Rebecca because we haven't been with her for a while. And perhaps we'll send Reese and uh, Luna out on a little date. That might be quite cute. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a massive thumbs up if you did. Drop any comments below. That'll be awesome. And I'll see you in the next part. Bye.